The Marvel Legends Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness figures officially revealed. A new Target exclusive Thor figure. Black Series Holiday figures. And the official images for the McFarlane Toys Disney Mirrorverse figures are online now. All that and more in today's TNI News. So let's jump right into it. So welcome to a Thursday edition of TNI News. Of course, I'm JC. We've got a lot to go over today, but before we get into the toy news, just a quick reminder. Tomorrow, the 17th, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be having a live stream over on my other YouTube channel. There is a link to that YouTube channel down in the video description below. If you haven't subscribed to that channel, please do, especially because tomorrow I'm going to be giving away not one, but two $500 store credits to our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, for the holidays. So two lucky uh, viewers will, will walk away uh, tomorrow with uh, $500 worth of store credit to buy action figures. So um, it's in relation to Toys for Tots, which is an organization very near and dear to me. I do ask that everybody who participates in the podcast or podcast in, in the live stream tomorrow, uh, donate at least one unwrapped toy to Toys for Tots. Or if you live outside the U.S., you know, donate to a toy to a similar type organization for wherever you live. But again, um, essentially, uh, to give back to you guys for the holidays, I am going to be offering two, not one, but two $500 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. You do have to be a subscriber to that YouTube channel. Again, the link is in the video description below, and you'll want to be a participant in, during the live stream, which again starts tomorrow, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and hopefully uh, you'll be one of the people who win. Okay, so let's get into the toy news and let's start off with the Disney Mirrorverse Wave 2 figures from McFarland Toys. So I talked about this last week. We got the initial teaser image and now we have the official details. These are now available for pre-order everywhere that carries these uh, Mirrorverse figures, uh, including our sponsors Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. They went up for pre-order uh, late last night. And uh, just to recap, this wave is going to include brand new figures, a five inch Donald Duck figure. So these are based on that Mirrorverse mobile game. So Donald Duck, Baloo, which is also listed as a five inch figure. For seven inch, we are getting uh, the genie from Aladdin. And then a couple of repaints, which I guess from the game they call fractured versions. They're, they're purple, a dark, pur dark purple. I have not played the game, but I'm assuming that's where the term comes from. But they, these are essentially just repaints of figures we got in Wave 1. So the 5-inch Sully and the 7-inch Jack Sparrow. And then there's two 12-inch figures, uh, a Sully that is in 12-inch form, which actually I believe was originally planned for Wave 1, but got held back for some reason. So now it's coming out in Wave 2. And then the second 12-inch figure, which I think was the actual 12-inch figure planned for this wave, is Wizard Mickey Mouse. We got the 5-inch version of him in Wave 1, and now we're getting a 12-inch version. And as I said, all of these figures are now available for pre-order pretty much everywhere that carries the, the McFarlane uh, Mirrorverse stuff. So another story I wanted to just update you guys real quick on that I talked about in the last news videos in regards to those G.I. Joe reaction figures. This is the second wave from Super 7 of the three and three quarter inch ones. So we now have the official images. I told you about the listings and how they had gone up for pre-order at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. But now Super 7 has gone on and released official images. So just to recap real quick, this includes Duke, Bazooka, and his Arctic combat gear from the cartoon. We are getting Storm Shadow, Major Blood, a Game Master Drone, and then for Army Builder figures, we are getting a Cobra Shock Trooper, which will have different variations. And then there's also going to be the G.I. Joe blue shirts. So again, those figures are all available for pre-order at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Also going up for pre-order this week from McFarland Toys was that DC Multiverse Death Metal uh, Batmobiste, a vehicle that we saw several months ago originally in one of Todd McFarland's videos. This has been out overseas for a little over a month now, so we've seen some in-hand images for this vehicle but it has now officially been solicited. It's available for pre-order again at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. It is gonna cost you in the neighborhood of $80. I believe it's also available through Amazon if you want to get it there. 
It is a vehicle that basically you lift off the top and then you've got essentially the, the, the cage of the vehicle. You can put figures in it if you want to. Uh, we've seen that with the overseas images that popped up online. So, um, you know, it, it is a seven inch scale vehicle. Essentially, it's a monster truck for Batman. Um, I, I don't know how many people this is actually going to appeal to. It's kind of cool. It is also kind of expensive, but, um, you know, not very elaborate. Again, it doesn't have working doors or anything like that. You just lift off the top, you know, top portion of it. And then you've got the under cage and then you can put the figures in there and put the top back on. So again, this is available for pre-order now, pretty much everywhere that carries DC Multiverse. Now, if you collected the old DC Collectibles, DC Direct, DC Essentials, uh, deceased figures, uh, that's a mouthful, uh, those zombie figures that the DC Collectibles started to do before they ended up closing their doors. Well, uh, we, we'd seen prototypes for these back during the tw uh, 2020 Toy Fair at the DC Collectibles booth, but they never got released. But then, of course, earlier this year, it was announced that McFarlane Toys would be uh, basically the distributor for DC Collectible direct stuff going forward. I don't know if they're ever going to do anything brand new, but the, you know, definitely they're getting out the stuff that was kind of in the pipeline before DC Collectibles closed their doors. So um, the second and third waves of deceased figures, which we saw the prototypes for at the 2020 Toy Fair, have been listed up on Amazon's website. They were available for actual pre-order yesterday. I don't know if they're still available. They didn't have images, so we still only have really the images that, that came from that Toy Fair a couple years ago. But just to recap, uh, we're going to be seeing The Flash, Supergirl, Superman. Those are all due out at the end of January. And then the third wave is going to be, uh, or I'm sorry, Harley Quinn is also in that for, or second wave due out in January. And then uh, rounding out this uh, line is going to be Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Deathstroke. And those will be out at the end of April. So, um, you know, again, these are essentially zombie eyes, DC characters. Everybody loves zombies, I guess. Not me. I, I'm not really that much into zombies, but, but zombies do seem to be popular. So um, they had done an initial wave. DC Collectibles had released their first wave of these figures right before they closed their doors. So that had included the Batman, Green Lantern, Joker, and Aquaman figures. And these are essentially just kind of retooled versions of the figures they had already done for the DC Essentials line, which are seven inch figures. They will fit in pretty well with your McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. So if, again, if you want zombie eyes versions, these will be available everywhere eventually. These are not uh, Amazon exclusives. Amazon just kind of jumped the gun and listed them up early as they've been doing with a lot of stuff. But um, these will eventually be uh, solicited everywhere. For you Dragon Ball fans, we've got some new figure reveals from Tomasi Nations for the SH Figure Arts line. These are all based on the, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So we're getting Piccolo, which will be out in April. We are getting Son Goku, which will be out in May. Uh, Vegeta will be out in June of next year. And then Son Gohan is the fourth figure that they showed off. And that one is going to be out in July. And again, these are based on the Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Okay, now switching over to Star Wars. So yesterday we got a reveal via Toy Hideout. These also popped up on eBay and it is a look, our first look at Hasbro's next round of Black Series holiday figures. You may recall they did these last year where they take already existing figures and repaint them in holiday colors. So uh, there is a round coming out this year, even though I don't think you'll have them in hand before the actual holidays this time. But and likely these are going to be here in the U.S. released as uh, various store exclusives. That's what they did last year. I don't have any specific details on which stores are going to carry them yet, but probably, you know, Best Buy and GameStop and things like that. So I do kind of expect the official reveal for these to come next week on Tuesday for Bring Home the Bounty. Uh, there's also going to be some vintage collection figures that are going to be solicited next week. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and then today for Marvel Legends, the big news of the day, we had a live stream. Before the live stream, we actually got the reveals for the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness wave. So just to go over that real quick, and I told you about some of these figures before, the two comic book figures with the Despair and Sleepwalker. 
I really love the Sleepwalker figure, so those have now been officially confirmed. The other figures in this wave are going to be movie-based, nothing with big spoilers. I was kind of expecting the trailer to actually drop for this movie before we got these reveals today. I knew the reveals were going to come before the live stream, which uh, just took place at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. But, but I was kind of expecting a, a trailer. I still think we'll get a trailer very soon. There is a trailer that is playing for the movie at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, which, by the way, I'm going to be going to as soon as I get done filming this. Um, and I will share my thoughts about it, non-spoiler thoughts about it, tomorrow during the live stream. But for the wave, the movie figures in this wave are going to include another version of Doctor Strange, a little more modern version of Doctor Strange, and then we're also going to get his astral form Doctor Strange, Wong is finally making it into the, the Marvel Legend line. I think he appears in every movie nowadays, so he is finally getting a Marvel Legend figure. We are getting the character American Chavez, which may be kind of spoiler, I don't know. I, I think it was pretty much known that she was going to be in the movie, uh, but we're getting a figure of her. And then finally, the Build-A-Figure, which is movie-based, is a character known as Rintra. I, I think that's how you say it. Uh, so I, I don't know anything about that character. I don't remember it you know, something like that being in the comics, maybe. Um, but but that is the Build-A-Figure. And again, that one is confirmed to be movie-based. So these are available for pre-order now. They went up this morning. Uh, they, they are available pretty much everywhere that carries Marvel Legends, including our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. So I don't, I don't think you'll have too hard of a problem finding those. Now, we also got a Target exclusive figure that is up for pre-order now as well. And that is listed as Defenders Doctor Strange. This is another movie figure. So I I guess he changes outfits at some point in the movie. And this one, I think kind of the cool thing is he comes with that, that teleportation ring that we often see him use. So uh, you now can add that to your collection with this figure. Now it is a deluxe figure, so uh, it's going to cost you a little bit more. And as I said, it's a Target exclusive, but it is available for pre-order now. I'm pretty sure it's still available as I'm filming this. Now, not Doctor Strange related, but also a Target exclusive that went up for pre-order this morning is a new Thor Ragnarok figure. This is based on the comic story, specifically from Civil War, where Reed and Tony make a robot version of Thor. So you get some metallic pieces, you get two alternate heads. Probably the coolest thing about this one is you get a spinning hammer effect which is something we've seen like Diamond Select Toys do for their Thor figures, but I believe this is the first one that they've done for Marvel Legends. So that is included with it. It comes with some alternate hands, but um, like I said, that is a Target exclusive and, and that one is also available for pre-order now. Now, as I mentioned, uh, this afternoon Hasbro had a Marvel Legends live stream and we actually got more reveals than I was expecting. So I was definitely expecting them to show off the next 20th anniversary Toy Biz tribute figure, which is the Hulk. Um, that, that is the third figure. We saw Captain America and Iron Man previously, and now we're getting the Hulk. The fourth figure is confirmed to be Toad. They did not show that one. We're not going to see Toad until next year sometime. But, but we are now getting a look at the Hulk. He comes with the base, which is kind of cool for punching effect. Yeah, it looks like he's punching the ground, things like that. He comes with the Mandroid helmet. Uh, the figure, it is a larger figure, so it does cost more than a normal Marvel Legend figure. It's going to cost you around $44. As you're watching this, it went up for pre-order at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, which by the time you're watching this uh, should have already come and gone. So again, you can go. It's available everywhere, and you can uh, get it at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. They showed some new images for the Baron Zemo comic figure uh, that is a Walgreens exclusive. They showed this off during PulseCon, but now we've got some new updated images. This is technically the first figure for 2022. It'll also be in Canada released at GameStop stores. Of course, for those of us in the U.S., we're still waiting on Quasar. Uh, Quasar started hitting physical stores, but they've yet to put it online. They just put Nova up several weeks ago. We still have, uh, you know, the binary. So we, we are definitely behind on those Walgreens figures. But technically, the first figure for 2022 is the Baron Zemo. And then they showed off the second figure, Walgreens exclusive slash Canada GameStop exclusive uh, figure for 2022, which is going to be Jigsaw. So Punisher's arch nemesis wearing a suit, not like the Punisher out 
outfit like Toy Biz did back in the day as a two pack. But uh, Jigsaw is getting a modern day treatment and he will be unfortunately a Walgreens exclusive. Hopefully Walgreens will continue like we finally saw with Nova. We'll continue to put these online for those of us that don't have a lot of Walgreens nearby. And, you know, hopefully we will. You know, it may take a long time, but hopefully eventually we will be able to get our hands on all of these. I'm personally, you know, definitely still trying to get my hands on Quasar. Then, kind of a big surprise, they showed off the next Marvel Legends X-Men wave, which I've told you about previously. I, I, I reported on this months ago that this was going to be the figures in this next X-Men wave, but it is now officially confirmed. These are not going up for pre-order today. They will go up for pre-order at a later date, uh, probably early next year. This is technically the first wave of X-Men figures for 2022. And just to go down, uh, the figures in this wave are going to include Siren, we are getting a classic Sabretooth. You know, I knew it was Sabretooth. I didn't know exactly what version, but it is essentially his classic version uh, that first appeared in Iron Fist, a slimmer, smaller version. They said that they will get around to doing a bigger version at some point, so not to worry on one of the new bigger bucks. But, but um, right now we're getting that classic. We're getting Wolverine. Uh, I'm not super familiar. It's yellow costume, but I, I guess this is when he most recently returned or such. Um, again, I'm not too familiar, but he comes with what they build as heated claws. So another Wolverine figure, the character Maggot, which they previously teased. Uh, so he comes with his two maggots. He's in the line. Vulcan, that one we had previously seen. So Vulcan is in the line, has the new, uh, basically... This is their new Bucky Cap mold uh, that Vulcan has. And then Classic Havoc, which has some pretty cool effects for his power. So I like that. And then the Build-A-Figure for this wave, which I did not know. This is our first inclination of what the Build-A-Figure for this wave is. But is the Reaver character, uh, Bonebreaker, uh, one of Dwight's favorites. He loves the Reavers. This is probably my favorite Reaver with the tank. The treads do not roll but it does have the glasses that you can actually, they're, they're pegged in, so they're not going to fall off really easy, which is nice because that's always a problem with uh, sunglasses on Marvel Legend figures, but you can like lift the glasses up and such. So that is the Build-A-Figure for this wave. And again, uh, not going up for pre-order today, probably sometime early next year. To end things, they showed a teaser as they always do. It was some type of backpack accessory. I really haven't had time to process it. Uh, to look on my notes to see if I could figure out what this might go to. Um, you know, it's kind of generic, so who knows. Uh, but but a backpack uh, accessory is is what they teased at the end of the video. If you have an idea of what you think it is, you know, let me know in the comments section below. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comments section below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And then also please think about subscribing to my other channel so you can join us tomorrow at 7 p.m., which is Friday uh, for the live stream where I will be giving away two $500 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, you know, for the holidays, it, it is the season of giving. So I, I want to give back to you guys. But again, you will have to be an actual subscriber to that channel. Um, and the link to that is in the video description below. As always, guys, stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.